So we're just gonna jump right into the video. I'm starting off with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light. I just like to take this extra step to make sure that my foundation doesn't move because usually it'll come off right on my nose area. So I'll just apply concealer to ensure that the foundation stays in place all day. Then I'm going in with my Sonia Kashuk foundation. It's the Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation in the color 3. And I'm just applying it with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now I'm going ahead and applying concealer under my eyes. I'm using the same Shape Tape Concealer, but this one's in the color Light Neutral. Now I'm going to set everything with the Shine Free Loose Powder by Maybelline in the color Light. And I'll just put a list of all the brushes and all that stuff in the description down below to let you know what brush I used for what. I'm going in with some tape and I'm just going to be applying that in the corner of my eyes just to ensure that the shape stays really, really sharp. eyeshadow base and I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid just to ensure that the eyeshadow that we put on top of it is more intense and a little bit more bold. I do place a mark to show where my crease is going to end that way I don't go above that line until I blend out the base but I do go in with the brush at first I didn't really like how it was applying with the brush so I tried to apply it with my finger but that wasn't really working either so just try to figure out a way for you to blend it out that you feel comfortable with. We're going to go ahead and start blending out those harsh lines, making sure everything looks nice and blended with our fingers first so that we prepare it for the eyeshadow that's going to go on top after that. Going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and we're going to be using the black in this one. And I'm just tapping the color on and tapping it on my eyelid as well just to make sure that we don't have any fallout because I already did my foundation. So this ensures that the color stays on the lid and not everywhere else. Now this is going to probably be the longest step in the whole eyeshadow look. You're just going back and forth, packing on the color, little by little, just building up the color just so that you don't get too much fallout or anything like that. But this is going to be the longest process and then blending is going to be the second longest. blending out that shadow just a little I'm taking the brush half on the color and half on my bare skin and starting to blend that out a little bit back in with black truffle and packing on more color it will start to sheer out as we start to blend so you just have to keep going back in and packing on a little bit more color and blending and packing on more color and blending <laughs> go 
ahead and take cocoa on that same blending brush that we were using and lay it on top of all the area that we blended out just to make sure that it looks a little bit better and it blends out a little bit nicer instead of having that gray tone. Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and going back in and just keep blending that color and keep packing on that same black that we laid down. Going in with Bay from the palette and laying that down as my brow highlight. Taking that same brush and that same color Bay and making sure that it blends in with the rest of the color. And once again with that same clean brush we're just going back in and making sure everything is blended. Like I said there's a lot of blending to this look. I'm going ahead and removing the tape and then just making sure everything's even and starting to blend out those edges a little bit so they don't look too too harsh. But don't take any more color just with a clean brush go ahead and do that. I'm taking a small little flat brush and applying that same black eyeshadow base that we did on the lid and laying that down on our lower lash line. Then we're going to go on top of it with the same black shadow that we used and just start blending that out and smoking it out a little bit. Like I said, we are going to take the black shadow and start smoking that out. You can take it as low as you want. I didn't want it too, too low because I didn't want it to crease on me. So I just kept it a little bit closer to the lash line, but you can do as bold or as thick as you want. Now I'm taking my Tarte Tardis Pro Glitter Liner in Rose Gold. This is such a beautiful color. I was so excited when I saw this and it works so well. I'm just taking the metallic side, not the glitter side, to do that as my wing liner. It looks so pretty and I was so excited. I wanted to do this look for the longest time and I'm so glad that I was able to do it now. I will be applying lashes later though. Now I'm going in with my Benefit Goop Proof Pencil in number 5. If you guys are looking for a new brow product, you should definitely check out Benefit's products. They are amazing, they are waterproof, and they last all freaking day. That's why I love them, and they make your brows look super, super natural too. ahead and applied my lashes off camera now I'm finishing it off with some mascara and I'm also finishing up my brows with a long comb brow gel I love this stuff it keeps your hairs in place all day contour my face slash bronze up my face I'm gonna be using the Too Faced chocolate Soleil bronzer in medium deep it is a matte bronzer that's why I love this stuff it's really really good <laughs> bronzer to contour my nose but I'm just tapping on the product just to make sure that I don't wipe off any of my foundation or my concealer that I put on my nose because it always comes off. Now I'm taking my favorite highlight in the whole entire world which is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit by Anastasia and I'm gonna go ahead and take Glow Getter and 143 mix those two colors together and apply them all over my face. I love how it does not emphasize my texture. I love this product. I love it. If you don't have it, go out, go get it. You'll love it as well. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that highlight. I love it. 
Taking Essence Satin Touch Blush in the color Satin Love. I love this blush. It's so beautiful. The lips, I'm taking the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil by NARS in the color Bahama. I love this pencil. It goes with a lot of looks and it's really, really nice. It has a long wear as well. that's the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on my next one bye